government at national level, we are determined to address all the challenges that face farm workers. And we are very clear that we should not cut corners. We don't want to gloss over practical problems. We actually want to go into a few farms and engage with the farm workers as well as the farmers to find a solution to the totality of the conditions of farm workers. Because it is our belief that the children of farm workers who are of school going age should be at school. And we don't want to burden them with the problem of having to find transport to find the school far away. We will build schools for them so that even a boarding school so that they are able to learn because we want farm workers children to grow up into good citizens who can become farm owners themselves not <laughs> and other professions to go into other professions so that they don't inherit the conditions under which their parents are having to eke out a living. We want you to be a proud citizen of this country with your own house and home for your children so that when you want to change from one employer to another, you must not be dependent for accommodation on that farmer uh, and therefore be at a loss as to where you will head to. And so our message today, and this is the message that we shared with the farmers earlier today, is that we need to work together to find solutions to these problems and that national government, provincial government, local government must play their part in ensuring that the conditions of these farm workers are improved because it is important for us to stabilize this community. We don't want this community to be forever engaged in life and danger in struggle.